Now we're just chatting at the top of the show there to travel expert Ed Finn and he's going to take us on a, a vacay to France. Yes, Maureen. Now, uh, Brittany, guys, hugely mm. popular for years, of course, with the Irish. I was over recently and I did a lovely trip from Nantes all the way right up to Saint Mont Saint-Michel. And just to give you a little bit of info on it, Nantes yes. now has direct flights. It's a little bit inland. It's on the Loire. It's mm. absolutely stunning. Um, it has direct flights with Aer Lingus and Ryanair from Dublin, which is terrific. And very reasonable there, guys. Really affordable. This is the real France you're talking about culture, history, art. Now, Nantes was very involved in the slave trade, guys, in the 1818, 1818 to 1831. It was abolished in 1831 in France. It was a massive port where slaves were uh, transported across the Atlantic slave trade. They have an amazing thing here today called the Memorial to the Ab Abolition of Slavery. It's really poignant. And when you go and see it, it's stunning what they've done there. Um, really interesting, the whole history of it. The museum's there, very maritime. Of course, mm -hmm. it's near the sea here. But Nantes, amazing. During the summer here, they have a thing called Le, Vo Le Voyage à Nantes, where they have these green lines all around the city. And it's a permanent arts trail from the 2nd of July oh. to the end of, sep oh, to the so of the September. So you follow the whole thing. And you follow it around. Right. And it's absolutely brilliant. Mm. Now, I was having beautiful food there, restaurants, you know, lunches. Like, you're talking like... 20 quid, you know, a glass of 20 wine. 20 quid? Very affordable. I'm just, you know, really, really cool. What about beaches? Any beaches close yeah, by? Yeah, very near, very near Nantes. Of course, right up the coast. This mm. Brittany area, of course, yeah. wonderful. Dinan, right? Mm. So we're going to go next, which is just up the coast and uh, absolutely stunning. Um, if you see here, beautiful quintessential sort of French, sort of, again, sort of Brittany's mm. beautiful gardens, beaches. But what I love about this is it's you just completely forget about everything. It's so relaxing, it's stunning. Um, famous place, of course, with the English and the Irish for years, people going there. Beautiful town as well. The beaches um, are very nearby. Dinan itself is, a, is an amazing town. Only 90 miles from the beaches at Normandy, by the way, the landing. You know what I mean? You're, you're okay, really so interesting. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah, so yeah. really nice. And uh, gorgeous cathedrals. But stunning stuff to do and see here. And I mean, I really must say, it's, it's, it's one of the jewels, I suppose, of Brittany. Really, really liked it. Um, but I love and about it as well. actually kind of maybe go there. You, you know, no, you know, no, you know no. the way we often head to the same type of places, Ed. Yeah, yeah, this is stunning. I mean, they're fam famous here for crepes, you know, the French crepes, oh, yeah. cider, the, 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 things, the things you find here, the little restaurants, mm -hmm. um, just really, really lovely. And I mean, for beaches, as you were saying there, Dinard, mm -hmm. Dinard, which is just beside um, Dinard, just up really a little bit from mm -hmm. it. Now you can see Look, here, guys, it's really, like really right stunning. <laughs> um, Isn't it? This, I suppose this place here would be your kind of 19th century beach huts. You know, the old Belle Epoque, mm -hmm. people getting dressed on the beach in the little huts and all oh, that. Yeah. This is all here. Um, it's really stunning. They have a beautiful maritime heritage it's here. It's a Celtic, because it's a Celtic Very nation, Celtic. of course, it's a Breton. Brittany, yeah. Massive festival here, mm. of course, L'Oreal in the area here. They have yeah. a huge Celtic festival here every year. Mm. But this would be one of my favourite places, I have to say, Dean Art. What is really Yeah, oh. gorgeous. What would you do, if you, say, if you landed and if you wanted to go to a few places, would you hire a car? Yeah, that's what I did now. Yeah. I got a car and I drove from Nantes all the way up to Mont Saint-Michel. And it was only a few hours to drive back and drop it off at yeah. the airport. I, I know yeah. they're expensive in Ireland at the moment. Mm. Yeah. They're expensive in France. Big Run, yeah, they were, I mean, I I paid 35 a day, so that's, that's, with, well, that's I think very with Hertz, good. And I booked it about a month in advance. So that was with Hertz on the way over, and I got the full insurance and all that. Did you? So that was very good. Yeah, nice little both like a Well, it's funny because we yeah, were chatting so. to Tom Brannock, and he mm. was saying that some uh, when he was in America it was like a hundred dollars a day. Some yeah. of the car prices. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 No, yeah. there's been a lot. There's been oh, a lot of good. stuff okay. on it. Yeah. So, so Saint Malo first. From there, yeah, up to Saint Malo. Now Saint Malo is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, famous for its big, huge thick walls and the citadel, 14th century ramparts. This place is stunning, medieval. You go back in time here, guys. Um, again, scrumptious seafood, famous for what pirates and corsairs, I suppose. They used to kind of prey on the English during the 18th and 19th century, of course, over in this whole area. Mm -hmm. So this was a fortress, really, St. Malo. But I suppose yeah. if you look at the map, Ed, and if you look yeah, where England where it was, absolutely. Is, yes, yes, that, that was the first yeah. port to call, yeah, if you like. beautiful. And I mean, the, again, it's all sailing here, you know, it's all seafood, but beautiful. And, and like, lovely old bookshops, lovely old cafes, you know, just all as they were like a hundred years yeah, ago. Yeah, that you're getting authenticity, yeah, yeah. which is it's not over dramatized. Is it safe to stay there now? Is it expensive to stay in hotels? No, I ha listen, I have to say to you, right, I heard an apartment in a few places and I was paying 68 70 a night and that was just a self-catering, but I saw some lots of hotels 
under 100 quid for two people a night. Um, nice one, three star. Beautiful hotels with character as well. Nantes mm. now has some stunning ones. Heritage, old style as well. But all the way up, I found it very, very good. Mm -hmm. And in June as well, very affordable. But for me, it was my first time going to the Nantes area mm. and that city, and I like loved it. They have the big moving elephants there as well, this machine that walks, and the kids can go up on it for 25 minutes, and the eel do not, you know, it's like nothing you'll ever see anywhere oh, else. God. It's real so art. It's very dramatic. Real yeah. Yeah. And are there yeah. good websites? Then? Where would you go to Yeah, advice Yeah, the last people? place I went to then was Mont Saint-Michel, yeah. by yeah. the way, well, that I went so off famous. there. And that was incredible as well. You're on the famous pilgrimage mm. site, the most beautiful place out there. Like Victor Hugo said, that was to France what the pyramids were to Egypt, oh, Mont Saint Michel. Right. It's just it's absolutely it beautiful. Was, yeah. uh, can you ever can you walk? There was a time you could walk out there in low tide. You can, can still, still do that? yeah, absolutely. You can indeed, and it's beautiful. It's for me. It's from a distance. It's stunning. Um, like when you go there and you go inside, it's kind of it's a little bit commercial in there now, right? But it is magnificent and it is an amazing, I'd love iconic to see it. place. Yeah. Um, and I must say, I loved it and lovely to finish up there and to see it. And well, look at that. like yeah, all along the very, coast, you'll see. Lovely. But this Mont Saint Michel, of course, as I said, it was a pilgrimage site, you know. So yeah. like, and mm -hmm. it still is today. So what do you when you go there? What do you do? Like when you get out there, do you take a? How do you get out there? Yeah, first? you can do. I mean, obviously, when the waters up like that, you yeah. can go out as well. A boat. It's all little shops, cafes. You know, it's, it's yeah. actually so it's all like, encompassing. like Gibraltar. Yeah. Or something, That's what I mean. You know, and you don't stay; you leave again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. So I just, I just did about three hours there, more, but it was, it was gorgeous. It was I preferred it from afar. I must say, I actually loved the driving around. And the yeah. up to it, like the pyramids, you know, the way the, like that. But I loved yeah, it. Because it's on top of yeah. you, then you're, yeah. But it was gorgeous. Yeah. But that right. whole area. So, what how a beautiful... far then from Nantes up to Mont Saint Michel? Just so people yeah, wanted to do that. three and a half hours, I think, if Brilliant. I can remember. But I mean, I stopped in all lovely little places did, along yeah. the way as well. Great. But no, visit. It, see, so they look great for us adults, right? But are, are, there, are there things to do for yeah. children? It's complete, I mean, massive. Like kids, I mean, I was telling you there about mm. the machines and mm. they had the carousels and all that. Loads of amusements. Real child friendly place. Fantastic for kids and lots of kids in restaurants, eating in restaurants as well, so that will tell you, very, quite affordable, you yeah, know. Yeah, and if you were to get the boat over then as well, how long would the, say, when you land in France and how long has this been in oh, the car down? It would be only a few hours as yeah. well. It depends where you go into, you yeah. know, Brittany Ferries. There's loads of ferries now since Brexit, by the way. There's mm. been loads of extra ferries really? on. Really? So, not just yeah. Larve, there's obviously one. Yeah, of loads course. of them. And, like, you know, Brittany Ferries, you've got, you know, Irish Ferries, you've got loads, Stena, loads of different ones, so it's mm. really good. It's a good idea. But I, you know, I must it's say a the, holiday in itself. It is, yeah. That's what, yeah. But the flight is great. It's so, it was like, I played 45 quid, I think, each way with Aer Lingus, and it was... Um, when I was there, the car, the Nantes is a lovely little airport, so really handy. You were out in 10 minutes. It sounds and great, off actually. You go I love that ease of access. Really has, like, you know, no, no worries no. there. How are, you, well. how are you on driving the other side, Ed? Grand, yeah. <laughs> so I'm you said it all. Sure, he's heard in Ireland. He's heard more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was great, yeah. I was, it was good, yeah, no yeah. problem. At least at in the UK now, when you go to the Chelsea Flower Show, you'll be on the right side yes, of the road. Yes, guys, absolutely. Visit Brittany.com, or sorry, BrittanyTourism.com, by the way. People will be asking that. That's a good one, actually, for people. Uh, yeah, more next week. I'm off to the Chelsea Flower Show. I've always wanted to go. I love the, the I love plants and flowers yeah. and stuff. So Swiss Tourism con commissioned a garden, the Swiss Sanctuary. So they've invited me over to, to see it. How do you it. get an invitation? I know, from the yeah. Swiss garden I know. People. How do you even know? Lily Gom, this garden designer, has designed a stunning garden, right? I said we the can't Swiss open without Finn. So I'm going <laughs> over and I'm going to stay in the Kensington, which is nice. Are, of like course. Do of course. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going no to Airbnb I'm, for you there. Way, I'm meeting this fella. He's got. 388,000 followers on TikTok. Um, Marcus Tuscani is his name. So I'm going to. Be, he does hotels all over the world, and he's he's a bit of a sensation. So we're going to have a chat with him over a coffee, get a few tips, maybe. Right. Yeah. Maura Whitley meets our lad from Cork. But by the way, the, the tickets are still available, guys. I should be talking um, for for the for the Chelsea Flower, the Chelsea Flower Show, the 25th, 26th, 27th. The Saturday are they is good. By the way, Ed, are they? Yeah, they're about 85 pounds right on the Saturday for the pull. Open from 8 to 5:30, mm. and I just want to mention as well, of course, our own. Blue Bloom yes. oh, in yes. June. I definitely want Blooming to go to that. in June. Yeah. Uh, twenty-five pounds if you don't want to be travelling. That's very reasonable from that. And that's in Euro. June. Yeah, yeah twenty-five it's euros. Good, Sorry, more. Twenty-five, Euro, 25 yeah. pounds. Yeah. He's still away. The pounds are in Chelsea. Bloom. I've yeah. never been to Bloom and I've never been to France. Would you believe that? Oh my God! Yeah. Well, you have to go to Nantes Not and those places. Like, yeah. 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 You'd love yeah, us. Yeah, nice to be brought down. Oysters be like seafood and bit of fun. Tag along now. We're off next week. I didn't even talk about the wines. My God, you know we have no time to. We'll have to drink them. We'll have to go with you to Nantes and drink the wines. Season, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Thank Thank you thanks you very much. so much. Thanks, Absolutely guys. A pleasure. A pleasure. Enjoy your trip. Vive la France. Vive, Vive la France. France. <laughs> safe journey. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Le voyage Ed, wherever you go. Slon. Slon. <laughs> <laughs>